Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You gave yourself to heal us and to bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, mighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God, God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who for the faith they process, profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ, and to strive after all that does it honor through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows and bread to the one who eats, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. My word shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I consider that the sufferings of this present time are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed for us. For creation awaits with eager expectation the revelation of the children of God. For creation was made subject to futility, not of its own accord, but because of the one who subjected it, 
and hoped that creation itself would be set free from slavery to corruption and share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. We know that all creation is groaning in labor pains even until now. And not only that, but ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit. We also groan within ourselves as we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. On that day, Jesus went out of the house and sat down by the sea. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat down, and the whole crowd stood along the shore. And he spoke to them at length in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow, as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground where it had little soil. It sprang up at once because the soil was not deep, but when the sun rose, it was scorched, and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it. But some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold, Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Planting a seed is actually an act of faith. You trust that the sun, the soil, the moisture, and the air will all do what's needed for the seed to grow, you may even do your part with fertilizer and weeding. But even in the wild, without any human help, a seed is an amazing delivery system for new life. And seeds have been doing their job successfully for thousands and thousands of years. Jesus described God acting like a person sowing seeds of new life in people. In the, pe in the parable, God or Jesus himself is the sower, the seed is the revelation of God's kingdom, which brings new life. The different soils are different people's responses to the message. And we tend rather to focus on the obstacles to the seed. But the parable is really meant to give us encouragement and hope. After all, the seed of God's word and wisdom eventually land on the perfect spot in the human heart, ready for God's word there to germinate, to grow, to thrive, and to bear fruit in the sense of right thinking and right living. The parable describes individual people who are too shallow, too busy, too dense to receive God's wisdom. But in reality, those conditions also describe the stages of faith that develops in each one of us, the steps of faith, we might say. To be honest, and I include myself in this, Sometimes it seems that so little of God's word actually finds a place in us, especially those of us who worship regularly and hear the word of God so often. So what's up with that? Well, of course, it's the human condition. But thankfully, God the sower keeps reseeding us with his word. God does not give up on his people. That, in fact, is the good news and the gospel. Every day is a new opportunity 
to listen to God's wisdom and God's word in scripture and in our personal prayer as well. One important result of hearing and receiving God's word is that it gives us the grace to listen and to receive the words of our sisters and brothers with patience, especially during these days of COVID-19. Everyone has an important story to tell. Everyone has a fear to reveal. Everyone an anxiety to share. To help them as we should help them, we remember the words of Jesus himself that when he said, one does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. I believe in God, the Father of the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Challenged and encouraged by God's word in scripture, we pray for the people of God. That our life together as a church and parish community may be rooted in the love and mercy of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the nations and peoples of the world may work together to protect and share justly the many gifts of God's creation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God will bless the work of farmers and food producers with a bountiful harvest as a blessing for all the human family. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, that they may share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, may these prayers of ours be seeds of your spirit in our hearts, that we may work to plant your mercy, your justice, and your compassion in our world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. Out of compassion for our waywardness, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. Well, so with angels and archangels, thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring to her the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Thomas and Robert, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul, since I cannot at this time receive you in Holy Communion. Come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself completely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects may come upon us and help us to grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you again for worshiping this morning, and thank you also for your ongoing stewardship, your generosity in prayer, and also in financial support to our parish. We do believe, of course, that God does speak to us, and most especially, and the Word says it all, the Word of God made flesh in Jesus Christ. So as we listen to him this week, we could use the words of the man uh, uh, Samuel in the Old Testament, who said simply in prayer, uh, speak, Lord, your servant is listening. The Lord be with you. 
and with you. May God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thank you.